Hi Leo, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing a really special reading for you. This is Pluto retrograde re-entering into Capricorn. And Pluto revisiting Capricorn, this will be like for the last time in 250 years. This is what this reading is covering. So it's just mind-blowing to me. It really is. It's, it's rather exciting. Now, if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me be seen by the YouTube algorithm. It gets the readings out to people who are interested in them. And that's just spectacular. And that's all thanks to you guys. So it really is mind-blowing. Thank you so very much. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see the energy we need to be mindful of as Pluto retrograde re-enters into Capricorn. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Ooh, okay. So the Ace of Wands, it's funny because it came out just like right on its side. So it's going to be upright and reverse that we need to be mindful about things. So upright, we need to be mindful that divinity is handing us a gift. You know, God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe is handing us a gift, a passion of creativity, of insight, of ideas. And we can be really stuck with receiving this gift. We can also feel like we're supposed to be getting a gift or we're supposed to be excelling in one direction in one way. And it's like, it's not working. It's not right for us. So being aware that there's something that we're going to be thinking, oh, well, this is the way I'm needing to move forward. This is how I'm needing to do things. And, and we're going to have the wrong idea of it. You know, spirit's going to be like, no, 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 listen to me. Listen to me. You know, you're getting a gift. You're getting a gift and it's going to be this way. And we're going to have a bit of a battle with that because we're going to think, you know, as, you know, we're ruled by the sun, we tend to think that what we're seeing, what we're doing, you know, is right. Like everybody does. But, you know, Leo, we tend to be a little bit more determined in, in, in that focus. And divinity is like, no, 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 no. Listen to me. Listen to me. So we're going to start off with just being mindful of we're going to have a really big leap of faith during this time. Is it going to pay off? Yeah, it is. But is it going to be something that comes easy to us? No, no, it's not. Let's see what spirit has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Here we have harmony. Okay, we need to be in harmony with ourselves. We do. And we need to be in harmony with the world. Put on music with just a beautiful harmony to it, with beautiful music to it beautiful words to it. We need to build our energy vibration into harmony, into peace, into love, into, into joy, into bliss. And that's us being in harmony with the world. And that's going to be a really big thing. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides. Ooh. Oh, I do apologize. My allergies have just been so intense this year. Okay, so let's look at all of this. Let's talk about this time, astrologically speaking, before we dive in. Because 
this is a time that connects us with a lot of what we've been wishing for. We also see, you know, strong air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have ourselves coming through. This is also fire sign energy, right? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and then water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer coming in. So we have a lot of players coming to the table with us during this time. We also have the Empress here, right? The, the sense of creativity, giving birth, moving forward, you know, taking the reins of things. That's going to be very big for us as well. So Pluto retrograde began on the, the 1st of May, okay, in Aquarius on the 1st of May, 2023. And it moves to Capricorn on the 11th of June to October, to the 10th of October, 2023. But we'll have it going back and forth, okay? We have it going back and forth. It goes not back and forth from Aquarius to, to Capricorn. I'm not exactly sure. But it goes into Capricorn, comes out of Capricorn, you know, kind of yo-yos until November 2024. And then it just goes fully into, so yeah, it yo-yos back. But then it goes fully into Aquarius on in November 2024. And this time is just, it's just astounding to me. It's just astounding, All right? We will not see this time again you know, in our lifetimes, right? It's not till about, you know, 250 years from now. And according to a senior astro astrologer in, on um, astrology.com, Narar Narayana, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. I'm not sure. I'm going to butcher her last name. So I've kind of given up trying because I, I think it's a bit rude of me to, to not get it right, but I don't know how to say it. So I'm just going to have it linked in the description box below. But here's what she says. We will continue to see big names, politicians, billionaires, and media personalities fall from grace as Pluto continues to expose the hypocrisy. While we are already seeing this trend, it will exacerbate when Pluto forms a square with the lunar node of destiny between June and September of this year. It will be mind-blowing to see how this is related to the decomposing of our old structures, paving the way for new ones to be to be built once Pluto finally st stays in Aquarius for good, which will not happen until November 2024. I was shocked. I was shocked. I had to write it down. I was like, <gasps> I was just shocked when I read this. This is the energy, right? Pluto entering into Capricorn. Pluto is all about you know, death, rebirth, destroying Capricorn. It's all about rules and structures. The old structures are falling down. The old rules are not being played by anymore. And that, that's just like mind blowing. Okay. Mind blowing. We're going to see it. We see it now happening in real time and we're going to continue to see it. We're seeing it in our own lives. We are stepping into the role of the Empress. Okay. The Empress Rhiannon, the, the Empress moving us forward embracing what we love, caring, compassion, not falling into negative narratives is going to be huge for us. Embracing our creative energy, moving forward to what we love, to what we desire, to what we need, to what's important to us and for us. Our creative energy is taking hold, creating the world that we want, connecting with what we love. That's going to be one of the biggest things for us, nurturing, compassion, what we desire moving us forward. We're going to be seeing here reclaiming the throne. This always makes me think of, I just keep on getting the Empress. I think it's, um, oh, I forget her name. Theodora, I think it is. I think it's Empress Theodora, where she rose to become Empress of Rome. Like she was, I think she was a um, concubine and she wound up marrying the Emperor of Rome. I don't know if that, that that's true or is that was just a slender rumor. I have no idea. but. They're going to leave Rome because Rome is on fire. And the emperor is like getting into the boat. He's going to leave. He's going to abandon everything. And she says to him, I will stay. And don't bother coming back. Because if you come back and the city isn't burnt and I'm like not dead by the fire, right? I will be the empress and I will be ruling this land. That's the type of conviction we have here, Leo. This is a sense of I am taking into hand what needs to be done. I am moving forward. I am creating. I am cultivating. I am, you know, embracing what I desire, what I have sworn to, and I'm taking the reins of it. 
And that's going to be a huge thing. We're going to find ourselves in situations of power, in situations of authority, in situations of, yes, slander. We can have a lot of slander thrown our way. So do be mindful about that. But it's because we're taking the reins. We're taking the reins and we're moving forward. And it's going to be a time where it's like, okay, this is where I need to be. This is what needs to be done. Keep blinders on and keep yourself focused. You're going to get a lot of information. Okay. Emotions are going to be running high and that's something to be mindful of. We're going to kind of not trust our heart for, <clears throat> excuse me, for one reason or another during this time. Be aware of this. The page of swords, cutting through doubts and fears and negativity. Animals that are, are white in Welsh mythology tend to be connected with the spirit world. We're going to see that spirit is giving us a lot of information. We're also cutting through a lot of hurts and pains and lies and deceptions and you know, things that have held us back. And now we're moving forward slowly and steadily. We can have a child in our lives, right? A air sign energy, a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius, but this could just be, this is just going to be a really clever child, okay? A child that really uses their mind and has a way with words that you just sit there and look at them and you're like, how old are you? You know, type of thing. So just be aware of that. They're going to be teaching you a lot. You're going to be seeing a lot through them and with them. There's also going to be some sort of barrier, okay? that is broken down during this time. And that's going to be a big thing. It can be between you and this air sign energy or this, this clever, this cleverness, but there's also a sense of becoming a student of your voice, of what you desire, of what you want, of what you need, of how you're moving forward, of what you're going after. And that really brings you again to this position of authority and prosperity and, you know, real determination. The salamander in alchemy, in, in ancient alchemy was a sign of transformation. And that's what we're doing. We're transforming. And we're going to see ourselves transforming. You know, what is the sacral chakra? That's it. Tailbone. Energy. In in Qigong, tap your tailbone. Okay. That's your that's your um reproductive energy, your your creative energy here. Releasing blockages around your sacral chakra is going to be very important for you. Very important for you. Leo. So be aware of that. There's also a sense of claiming our authority, of claiming what we desire, claiming what we want, claiming what we need, sitting on the throne and saying, this is where I am. Not looking back, you know, being very determined, very focused, very passionate. We're taking this gift. We're absolutely taking this gift of the Ace of Wands. We just stumble a couple of times. And when we stumble a couple of times, we're like, oh my gosh, it's never going to happen. We'll have a tendency to be rather dramatic because we're rather dramatic people, Leo. So just be aware of this. With the seven of cups, your dreams are coming forward and your dreams are transforming. There's going to be a transition during this time. And it's going to be a rather big transition from dreams to reality, to moving things forward, to really deciding what we want, what we want to focus on, and what's important to us, what isn't important to us, you know, how we're moving forward. And there's a sense that we kept our dreams safe, right? It's kind of like, keep it for special, right? Mill on the floss. I always think of, yeah, mill on the floss is coming through and the... It's a book by um, George Eliot, right? And what she writes is in the beginning, what is her name? Molly, I believe. Her her aunts die. And they will die having only used their third best, best handkerchief, right? They'll always keep for special, you know, what needs to be, what needs to be kept. Or it's not even keeping it for special. It's keeping it so that when the neighbors get to see what possessions you had, they will know that, wow, you were so wealthy, you had, you know, you only used your third best handkerchief and they were all ooh and ah over it. It's like, don't wait, don't wait that long. <laughs> don't wait that long. Embrace what you love, embrace who you are, let yourself shine. And don't, and don't play their games. Don't play the world's games. This is a time where a lot of the games, a lot of the, the old ways of doing things are going to fall apart. It's just not going to work. So just be aware of this. Be aware that if you think like, if you're playing some sort of game, like if you think like, oh, I'm going to be cleverer than this person and that person, it can have a tendency not to work out for anybody. So just be aware of that. Seven is a very truthful, forthright number. So be aware here that there's a transformation towards what, what you really desire, what you really want, and what's really important to you. And it's letting the dreams shine forward. That's going to be a really big deal. With the Page of Cups, this is water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. We can ha be having a bit of difficulty with a Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Cancer. But we're having a bit of difficulty listening to our heart. There's healing around our heart chakra that's coming forward. We're going to have powerful lungs, like our, our throat chakra, our lungs, 
that's going to be powerful. Or there's, there's a sense of a real embracing of our own voice. But following our heart, following what we love, that's going to be a little bit more tricky for us. We can want you know, certainties with certain things, and the heart is never certain. So just be aware of this. We are transforming. We're embracing what we desire. We're looking at what we love. And we're stepping forward in ways that are astounding for us. But we are having difficulty trusting our heart, you know, seeing where we want to be and opening up the door. We are. And there's a sense here that we're going to get guidance. We're going to get information from like such an unlikely spot that at first we're just going to completely ignore it because it's like, well, that's ridiculous. You know, or what does that person know? And it's going to be a heck of a lot more than we thought they did. So just be aware of that. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of is Sir Nunes. This is the devil energy. So this is Capricorn energy. Be mindful of the rules and the structures and and that sort of ruled by Saturn energy, like rules, spreadsheets, structures, those type of things. They can tend to, like the rules are changing. I just see the rules are changing or there are consequences. You know, here there are consequences to actions that we we didn't really anticipate. So just be aware of that. Just be aware of that, Leo. That subconsciously, that that plays a big a big role. It's like a sense of a curveball coming our way. So just be aware of that. Our subconscious spirit message is luminous, reversed. We're not letting ourselves shine. We're not. There's something here where it's like we're holding back, we're holding back. And spirit's like, no, let yourself shine. Let yourself shine. It's important. Our subconscious tarot message is the star. This is Aquarius energy, which is funny because, you know, that's what we're going to be ping-ponging back and forth from Capricorn, Aquarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, right? We're not really comfortable in Capricorn energy. So that's June 11th to October 10th, right? And then we go back and forth, back and forth up until November 2024. November 2024, we'll start to see things changing towards us. We'll start to see, you know, the wishes. And we have that here with the Seven of Cups, the wishes of what we really desire coming forward, embracing them you know, sitting there and saying, oh, well, there could be more here. There could be more like this. And, you know, I'm opening up the store and I'm embracing this idea. Divinity is hearing our soul's wish and our soul's wish is going to be granted. It's just going to take longer than we thought. And it's going to come in a very roundabout, like kind of out of the blue way. There's a sense of of being ready to give up on your dreams. It's like, because it's not going to come in the way that you expect it to, in the traditional structure of things. It's going to be rather unconventional, but you're going to have what you wish for. And it's going to come out actually better than you had ever imagined it could be. And that's, that's going to be a big thing. And during this time, you're learning a lot. Like you're taking in a lot. You're knowing a lot. You're understanding a lot. And you're learning to trust your heart again. And that's the thing. That's the thing, Leo, that's going to take a bit of time. Like to learn to trust your heart again. But by November 2024, which I know sounds like a zillion million years away, it's going to be here faster than we know. By then, there's going to be a real sense of, like, my heart is my greatest power and my love is my greatest truth. And there's going to be a calmness to us and a beauty to us and a power to us that right now we're just finding. We're just finding, but we're embracing what we truly wish what we truly love and what we truly desire. And that's going to be a big deal. All right. And remember, you're moving forward. You're claiming a throne. You're moving forward in a power that like you didn't know you could possess. Like you didn't know you had it in you. And and now it's a sense of I'm claiming the throne. Connect with the earth. Connect with your earth energy. Okay. Ground yourself. Plant yourself. Know what you desire. And slowly and steadily work towards it. Because we're going to have seven dreams coming up, right? Seven things that we really, 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 really want. And if we do it one at a time, you know, if we kind of look at what we desire one at a time, we'll be able to get there. But Leo, you know, we tend to be very human about this and we want to kind of run before we could walk. So just be aware of that. But you're claiming a throne and a power and a passion that really like your work ethic, your, your determination, your focus, that's enviable. Like people really look at you and they're like, wow, wow, you, you, you do good work. Like you really seriously. And your passion is infectious. So be aware of that. All right. All right, Leo. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. 
I'm sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony. Leo, may blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. And embrace the, embrace the changes that are coming. Bye.